made the next session. Okay. Uh, we will discuss today head and bugs, Mr. Mas, skew, fit. Hence, this is abbreviation for three tests that we use to catch acute stroke in posterior circulation brainstem that can make the patient feel vertigo or vertiguous and dizzy for hours or days. If the patient said I have vertigo continuous for hours or days, we will do this test. If he said I have vertigo that lasts only for 30 seconds, for example, and this always after changing my position and it's subsided by its own after 30 seconds, we will do another test. For example, uh, Dick's whole body. Okay, but if he said, I have vertigo for hours to days. This is very important test to know. Uh, does he have acute CMS lesion or he had a peripheral nerve a problem? The first head and bugs test. Head and bugs test. This we can diagnose by this test we can diagnose vestibular neuritis. So if the test is positive and he had vestibular neuritis, it is a good result because it means he had no stroke or CMS problem. Vestibular neuritis can be treated by supportive medication. Okay. How we can do head and bugs test? By holding the patient head with our hands and instructing the patient to look toward our nose and fix his eyes to our nose. If I move the head of the patient to the right, like this, if the nose will be here, for example, uh, or here, the nose will be here, that this eye and this eye, his eyes will still fixating to our, to, toward my nose. If I do this impulse, his eyes will still fix it to my nose. And this is negative test. A patient came and he is hypertensive, diabetic, smoker, and came to ER with continuous vertigo. And I found this test is negative. Uh, so I should be afraid that the problem is not vestibular neuritis, and he had a stroke. Okay, I would I should do it to both sides, to the right and to the left. This is the normal. The abnormal, the abnormal is like that. The patient will first looking to the other side, the side that I turn the face to, for example, the right, and then he will make catch back correction and then he will fix again to my nose okay it, is it clear so if he still fix into my nose with movement it's negative if his eyes go to the right and then go back 
by fast movement, corrective movement to my nose, it's positive. In normal person, this positive means that he has disease of the uh, vestibular arthritis. I will refer him to my colleague or treat him supportively. And in that, yani, it will be a bad sign for normal one. But if a patient had uh, the risk factor of stroke and it's negative, so it's considered a bad sign. Negative, this means that the problem is above the nerve in the brainstem. Okay? One more thing. This patient will start head, head impulse nystagmus. If you test this patient had vertigo from, from hours to days and spontaneous nystagmus. Spontaneous nystagmus, that is, yeah, there is nystagmus, not uh, inducted by gaze movement. When he's looking toward the central gaze, there is nystagmus. Okay. Right. We did now head inbox test. We finished from it. We will go to the nystagmus itself. Uh, nystagmus. Nystagmus, we have unidirectional nystagmus and bidirectional. Unidirectional nystagmus is the benign one. Bidirectional nystagmus is CNS problem. Unidirectional nystagmus does not mean nystagmus in one case. It means that in nystagmus we have Nystagmus in Arabic is Ra'a. This is the nose. When the patient looking to the right, the eye will go backward and inward by repetitive movement. Okay, like this. Unidirectional, that means when he looking to the right, the rapid movement is to the right, okay? And corrective slow movement is to the left or to the nose again. The direction is pointing to the rapid movement. We'll go like this. Mm. Yeah, this is the next time. The direction is the rapid movement. So when he looking to the right, the rapid movement is to the right and the corrective movement, slow movement, is back to the nose. And when he looking to the left, the same will happen. The rapid movement is to the right and the slow movement is to the other side or to the tem temporal. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if we have unidirectional, the, the rabbit face is toward the right, in both sides, when he's looking to the right, and also when he's looking to the left, the rabbit face is to one direction, to the right. Mm. What will differ is the amplitude of the movement and the, the velocity of the movement. When he's looking to the right, it will be rabbit on the right. 
more rapid and with larger amplitude. يعني the distance will be the distance of movement will be more. And this is what's called Alexander law. Alexander law is a unidirectional star mass, but it's increase in one side more than the other side. And the pathological side is the contralateral side. Okay, the pathology will be on the left. Is it clear until now? Yes. So, when the patient have unidirectional nystagmus, it's a benign cause, it's a peripheral cause. When he had bidirectional nystagmus or changing direction nystagmus, that means when he look to the right, okay, when he look to the right, the rapid movement would be to the right and slow movement, correction movement would be to the left. And when he look to the left, the rabbit face would be to the left and the vector would be to the right. This is what's called bidirectional nystagmus. Mm -hmm. And in this situation, it's a bad sign for CNS leader. Okay. Is it clear or I can repeat? No problem. Okay. Clear. So we finished two parts from this test. We finished head and box test. And we finished nystagmus. And now we will go to the last one. The skew, skew or skew test. Uh, Yusawi, it's equal to cover and cover test. Okay, cover and cover test. Skew means change or asymmetry between both eyes, gaze, vertical asymmetry. Okay. That's the, that's the meaning of skew, skew deviation, deviation. So this is the patient. Cover and cover test. So I will put my hand here for three seconds. And then I will shift my hand to the other eye suddenly. Uh, for three seconds, and then I bring it back to this eye. And I will observe any deviation in his eyes. If the patient had a deviation like this, this eye coming nasally when I put this hand my hand here and I change here, the cornea will come nasally, a nasal movement. Mm. And this is called vertical, uh, oh, sorry, horizontal, horizontal deviation. Horizontal deviation is a benign. Not normal, but benign, mm. okay? Uh, the dangerous sign That one. When I put my hand in this eye and shift my hand here, the pupils should go up or down. And this is the dangerous sign which I should consider a stroke and I will treat the patient as stroke even if 
Och kan komplet. MRI är negativ. Gott. Great. If even if MRI is negative for the first week or three days, okay? Uh, so you rule in ER when they called you. He is our um, darling neurology resident. Help us. There is an MR. There is a patient with vertigo. We cannot decide does he have have a stroke or not. Your question is not. I will wait for the MRI result. Your examination will be based on metembals, nystagmus, sputum. Okay, how you will answer on this? Um, not a stroke should not a stroke should include include all the following three. And this is an important point. To be sure that this is not a stroke, you should have abnormal head impulse test. Okay? Abnormal head impulse test. If it's normal, you are not sure where is the problem. It still could be peripheral nerve or could be MRI. But if you find it abnormal and nystagmus is unidirectional and no skew deviation, so it is not a stroke. Okay? There is uh, bidirectional, bidirectional nystagmus, or skew deviation, and normal head impulses is a stroke. But to, to to say it's a stroke, you should not have the three. Only one of these two. It's enough to say it's a stroke. Doctor, if it's abnormal head impulse test with the other risk factor like hypertension, diabetes, and smoker, can we consider it as a stroke? No, if the MRI normal mm. and unidirectional nystagmus okay. or no any nystagmus and no skew deviation. So what will cause head impulse test? Head impulse test is not positive in central region. Okay. I hope that you get the message. Yeah. Bye.